everyone, so my name is Kevin. I'll be sharing my story and experience with Lishmaniasis. Uh, so if this interests you, or um, you know, this is something you're, that you're going through, uh, yeah, you can I'll be sharing a story. Um, there are some graphical images, uh, as you can see here, so just um, kind of, uh, you know, check out if it's something that uh, makes you comfortable. And again, this is just my experience. Uh, I'm not a doctor. This is not uh, medical advice. So please do consult your, your doctor. Um, so yeah, we can jump right into it. So I'll be sharing some uh, w some background on what happened, kind of some progress progression pictures on how uh, it started, how I noticed it, the symptoms, and then I'll actually share uh, three treatments that I went through, two of them which failed, and one of them that um, you know seems to have worked. And then I will share some uh, more background information on some treatment options that uh, I found through some research, and then as well as some uh, medical clinics that uh, you can actually contact if this is something that happened to you and uh, the hospital where I actually found the treatment that I needed. So let's jump into it. So first, I this is uh, where I got the disease. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it here. It was called the Tembo Plata Research Center in uh, Peru. So basically, uh, I went on a uh, trip with some, uh, uh, bus like a business retreat with some other entrepreneurs. We fl I flew into Lima, then I flew into uh, Puerto Maldonado and took a three hour boat ride uh, down south Right, so this is a uh, really, really deep into the jungle, and um, as you can see, it's just rainforest everywhere. Um, we we were like going swimming in these uh, water banks over here with uh, building building uh, like wooden log boats. Um, you know, the uh, the cabin where we were staying, there was no there's no windows or anything, right? So uh, it's basically these like uh, these uh, little bed things with with uh, blankets on them, right? So this is kind of how it looked like. Uh, it was a really fun experience, but um, I'm pretty sure I got it here. So I'll show you some pictures. So so this is what happened when I first so I so I, I was I went to this uh jungle into the jungle um in uh two thousand and eleven. Uh, sorry November of two thousand and twenty one, right? November two thousand twenty one. So about a month or two later I, s I got this uh, pimple on my face, right? This is how it looks like here. And uh, it's just getting bigger and bigger, and it won't go away. So look at the, remember the dates. So this is January first. So this is about two weeks later, and then this is about a month later. Um, it's not going away. So so by this point, I am going to the uh, doctors now, and uh, they're giving me basically uh, antibiotic creams and steroids, and uh, it's not working. And I also have a really sw swollen lymph node on my on my throat. Uh, okay, so this is a uh, about a month and a half in. So uh, it's getting kind of big. And uh, at this point, I've been through, I've been to a uh, dermatologist, I've been to um, uh, ear, nose, throat doctors, and then the, uh, the dermatologist, I went to general doctors. The dermatologist referred me to a um, <coughs> tropical disease center where they actually did a biopsy. So this was February 15th. Um, so they actually did a biopsy around, around uh, this time and uh, sent to the lab. And it came back positive for uh, Leishmaniasis, uh, uh, Brazilianiasis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, there's there's basically strains. There's like 20 or 30 strains of Leishmaniasis. So I got the I got the one that's uh, called Brazilianiasis. I'm probably saying it really badly, but that was a strain. So they basically at this point, um, so they prescribed me this uh, they gave me this medicine called uh, Glucantime. It's in Spanish. I'm not sure if that's uh, there's an English name for that. It's meglu. It's a antimoniato de meglutina. So it's a, some kind of a, some kind of a, yeah, basically some something something that you inject into the uh, into the muscle. And let me pull up the English name here. So yeah, it's called a meglumun antimonit. So uh, it's just injection. You can you can I've I've seen it where you can inject it into the affected area directly. I've or you can just inject it to uh, another part of the body, um, but this was a treatment that was given to me at this point on uh, February 22nd, and um, it was three three of these vials, so uh, 15 milliliters per day, I uh, injected for 21 days or 20 days. So this is where the treatment started. So uh, this is the beginning of the treatment. You can see we started this day. So it's um. It basically starts getting better, right? This is uh, about a week, one or two weeks in. And um, yeah, it starts going away. 
right? So you can see it going away. I think this was the, okay, so this was the last day of the treatment right here. So you can see from the first day, where where was uh, around here? So the first day, and then day 20, the results difference. Uh, day 20. Sorry, day 20, around around here. Yeah, day 20. Okay, so this is what this, and uh, I thought I thought it was all cured, and uh, within a week it quickly comes back, and it's even more uh, aggressive than before. You can see that that it starts crusting in the outer edges, right, and it start starts spraying to my lips this time. It starts spraying to my lips, and um, I end up going to another infectologist, and he prescribes me another medicine called um, acetaminophen B, Yox. Yoxolate. So from my understanding, this is like, so, so the main medicine is amphotericin B, but this is the, uh, this is like the water solution. So this is creating the water solution. So um, it's a more toxic version with less side effects. So this is what, the, uh, what they gave me. And they also gave me a bunch of uh, anti-allergy and anti, um, like, you know, stuff like, uh, basically like Tylenol or something, Benadryl, and anti-allergy medicine. So this is uh, when I started this medicine. You can see um, the kind of progression here. It it doesn't really get better. I started. I basically spent um, 26 nights in the hospital, and they're injecting me with this uh, stuff by IV every night. Uh, I'm getting like chills, fevers, not fevers. It's getting really bad chills, nauseous. Pain is so painful on the uh, injection site. My hands all cold. Um, but it it doesn't get better. I think I fi I finished the treatment like around here or something like that. And uh, yeah, it doesn't get any better at all. Um, so this is when I so so yeah, it doesn't really get any better. And uh, I ended up flying to uh, Colombia, where they gave where I was looking for this other medicine called uh, the same medicine but called uh, Lefosomal. It basically, it's a lipoid solution. Uh, it's the same medicine, amphotericin B, but it's uh, Lefosomal. From what I understand, it's like a, a protein encapsulate. There's like a, like a protein capsule. So your body's able to tolerate more of this medicine and um, absorbs more of it, right? So, so you can see here, for example, uh, the dose here, that's the recommended dose. I'm getting, I was getting uh, three milligrams per ki kilogram, right? So I was getting 240 milligrams per day for 15 days. So the dose within over 15 days was 3,600 milligrams, right? Or 3.6 grams. Versus the other one, I was only getting 50 milligrams a day for 14, for uh, this is the orig original prescription, 14 days, right? I end up taking 26 nights, 26 days. So even that is what, 50 times 26, like 1,300 milligrams. So in 26 days, I only took 1,300 milligrams of this, which is more toxic to my body versus this one. In 15 days, I, w I was able to take 3,600. So this is like a 2X, right? And this is what uh, what helps. So y I'll show you the healing process. So this is the first day I end up in the hospital of, uh, of the hospital in Medellin. And they start injecting it, and um, you can see it starts going away. And uh, so you can see even here, uh, yeah, it's healing. There's still a uh, the color still not restored fully, as you can see. But uh, this is three months later, three months after treatment. You can see the, you can see here, um, the skin color is coming back. The everything is gone on the lips, and uh, yeah, it's much less noticeable now. So uh, that was the basically the story here. Uh, so my so some of the take so so th th this is what I found. This is from a video, uh, this lecture right here, which is really helpful. I'll link these in the description as well. Um, okay, this is for yeah, this is cutaneous, this is new cutaneous. But um, basically, there's three types of uh, leishmaniasis. There's cutaneous, which only affects the surface or skin. Mucocutaneous, which do affect the mucosa, so the lips, nose and um and all that and it's visceral so that's where it starts affecting the internal organs so i think i think the mistake here what happened with my treatment was that um so i went i, I caught it in peru but I, but i went to a hospital in panama so in panama they gave me the weaker version of the medicine because of the different strains but the standard uh, in panama was weaker than what it was in, in uh, let's say in if you went to brazil or medellin or colombia or uh, some some of the southern countries so they gave me weaker medicine, which which is why the first two didn't work. But um, you can see here, uh, even you can see here, right? Amphotericin, normal, right? 
that that's a that's a, that's this one the deox deoxy deoxy glycate. Um, this one like the recommended treatment, like it's 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 extremely hard to get there, right? So, uh, this is kind of like a waste of time, right? So it's you need 0.5 to one milligram per kilo, right? So I weigh 80 kilos, and I was so. Let's say you take um, half a milligram per kilo, right? So 40, mil 40 milligrams a day. So you need to accumulate a dose of 40 to 20 to 45 milligrams. So let's take an average, so 20 plus 45, right, 65. So I need to get to about 32.5 uh, milligrams in total per, per kilogram. If I was only taking 40 milligrams a day, sorry. 20 plus 45 by 2. So this is a, yeah, so this is, I, so I weigh 80 kilos, right? So 80 kilos. So I need to get to 2,600 milligrams in total, right? If I divide that by 40 a day, I need 65 days in the hospital. Like, this is just impossible. So part of it, why uh, it was really frustrating to the whole treatment was that I think I think the doses were just wrong, right? Like the doctor who gave me this dose here, um, even if I took the whole 14 days, Without side effects, which I was getting horrible side effects, and my uh, my levels of um, my levels of uh, creatine, like uh, creatine, they're going up, so it's hurting my uh, kidney functions, right? Um, I had to actually take pauses in between some of the days, but uh, even if I could handle it, it would be 65 nights in the hospital, right? So uh, this so this uh, raises levels of uh, creatine. Uh, I don't know how I'm not sure what the English version is that for creatine. Um, so this is this is really bad. So th so I mean, this medicine is just very toxic to the body, right? So even if even if even if I took like the the needed dose I needed for this was sixty five nights. I I did twenty six nights, but I didn't even come close, right? Even at uh, even at the minimum on the minimum side, twenty mil twenty milligrams times my weight, right? I need sixteen hundred, right? I probably came I had a uh, fifty milligrams a day times twenty six. I came 13 out of 16. Like I was on the lower side, and I was with 26 nights. Like that was a really horrible experience, right? So versus in a uh, liposomal version, you're able to take, you see, instead of 0 0.5 to 1 milligrams, you're able to take 3 milligrams a day. So that's, a, that's 3 to 6 times more your body is able to, to, to take, right? So in this case, I took 3,600 milligrams, which was, uh, I think, roughly in between. So here, you would just do 20 plus, or... You can just take the average, right? 20 plus 60, 80 divided by 2 times the body weight. So I should be at about 3,200, and I took um, 3,600. So uh, I was, yeah, I was roughly right in the middle, middle spot. And um, yeah, this I think I think this kind of helped. Um, so I'm so so just some resources. Uh, if if you have if you're going through this, you can check out uh, Gorgas in Panama. So this uh, just like a research. These are these are um, these are basically infectious disease centers where they do research on this stuff and they can give you the, the treatment medicine. Um, I've heard stories where in the U in the states, the USA, it's um, you know it's very difficult to get the treatment and also very costly. Um, these both these places do have uh, like free options where if you don't have any uh, you know funds or you don't have insurance, you can you can um, get a place here. Uh, you can go to these places and they'll help you out as well. Uh, as well as if you do have insurance and um, options to pay, they can also uh, find the medicine or do the prescription. So this is in Colombia, right? This is the uh, ICMP, and this is in Colum uh, Panama on the left, Gorgas. And uh, this is where I got my, where I found the medicine I needed, which was the Ethylpyrcin B liposomal uh, in Medellin, Colombia. The treatment was about $1,300 a day. Uh, luckily I had insurance, so otherwise, uh, yeah, it would've been very expensive. Um, some uh, some good documentaries on, on this with the, Adam Spencer, uh, you know, I think he had it worse. Uh, he had the same uh, leishmaniasis mucutaneous, mucutaneous. Uh, sorry, mucutaneous leishmaniasis right here. And uh, this is a really good, like, this is a really good series as well. This goes into depth with uh, what it is and uh, the treatment options and, you know, what it is. So I ho hope this helps. And, um, yeah, hopefully this helps even one person that's a, uh, Obviously, uh, difficult to go through and share, but uh, even if it helps one person, I I really hope so. I uh, feel free to comment, uh, you know, in the description if you need help or if you have any questions about this.